Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another video. Today I'm going to be watching Top Gun by Tony Scott starring Tom Cruise and Val Kilmer. First off, this is my 200th review on the channel. I still cannot believe it. 200 movie reviews. That means at an average of 1500 words per review, I've written over 300,000 words just about movies in the past, what, 20 or 22 months. Thank you so, so much for all your support, guys, especially my patrons, your comments, and uh, especially trivia. They go a long way in keeping me motivated to do more. Um, also, we crossed 25,000 subscribers recently. I have nothing to say except it's all because of you. It really, really is. I'm not the biggest fan of milestone celebrations, but 200 movies, 25,000 thousand subscribers it is a big deal it is extremely humbling so thank you one more time i'm not going anywhere by the way and i hope i get to do this a long long time moving on to the actual movie um as you guys already might know i'm a pretty big fan of tony scott's work and i have reviewed two of his films on the channel um beverly hills cops 2 and um crimson tide both were very different but good movies and i'll leave a link up there somewhere to them if you do want to check them out about top gun itself this is a very famous movie that i missed out on growing up unlike many other films that i review on the channel i actually never saw this running on tv growing up or anything although i do know a little about it i know tom cruise plays a character called maverick who's training to be a pilot and um, it's got something to do with flight training school, if I'm not mistaken. This is one of Cruz's earliest hits, and please excuse the pun, it skyrocketed <laughs> his career in the upcoming years. I know that Kilmer is also in the film, but I don't know what his role is. Whatever happened to Kilmer, guys, uh, he was one of the biggest stars in the late 80s up to, what, the mid-90s till he played Batman, and then he just disappeared. Uh, do let me know in the comments, whatever happened to Val Kilmer? Anyways, with Top Gun Maverick, the sequel coming out uh, this week or the next week, I, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to review the film that started it all in the first place. But before we get into it, to help support the channel, I have a Patreon page for full length reviews and reactions to this movie and over 100, oh, it's not even 100, 200 movies, <laughs> two TV shows, early access and weekly polls for what to watch next. You'll need your own copy to watch along, the links in the description below. Please consider being a patron. Please subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos, like if you like this video, dislike it if you didn't. With all that being said, let's get started. Top Gun, Scott, Kilmer, Cruz. Let's go. Tony Scott film, Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis. Okay, I know that name on March 3rd, 69. The Navy established an elite school for the top 1% of its pilots. Its purpose was to teach the lost art of aerial combat. Today, the Navy calls it the Fighter Weapons School, but it's more commonly known as Top Gun. Tim Robbins, okay. Meg Ryan, holy crap. <laughs> That's a lot of stars. Oh, Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer. They're pretty legendary producers. We've got that typical 80s action music. Oh, I know this song! <laughs> Highway to the Danger Zone. Oh man, so cool. <laughs> and knowing that it's a Tom Cruise film, I don't doubt this is all real. They probably actually filmed this with real planes and a real aircraft carrier. We have unknown aircraft. Inbound Mustang. Who's up there? Cougar and Merlin and Maverick and Goose. Maverick. That's Tom Cruise's character. Yeah, the camera work is already very impressive. Are we supposed to have visitors today? Negative, sir. The actor on the right, I do recognize him. He's in Back to the Future and he keeps calling Michael J. Fox's character Slacker. <laughs> This must have been a blast watching the theaters on a really big screen. I can't shoot this son of a bitch. Let's see if we can have a little fun with him. Oh, he's flying upside down at such speeds. 
It is a training exercise, or else they would have taken it more seriously. Cougar, this is Maverick. We've had enough fun for one day, don't you think? Looks like Maverick's going back to the aircraft carrier. We're on vapor, Cougar. What's up with Cougar? Is he freaking out a little? Overwhelmed? Goose, Cougar's in trouble. Come on, Mav, we're getting low on gas. Oh, even though they're low on fuel, he's going after Cougar. Probably to help him get to safety. Man, if we got a little problem up here, that MiG really screwed him up. I don't think he can make it back. Dude. Must be some sort of PTSD or something. Lucky. So, so lucky. Yeah, Maverick's gonna get reprimanded. I hope he doesn't call him slacker again. <laughs> I don't know what happened up there, but I was so scared. Come on, we've seen this before. No, sir. He's resigning. Thanks, Maverick. Maverick, Goose, come in here. Maverick, you just did an incredibly brave thing. Oh. What you should have done was land your plane. <laughs> you don't own that plane, the taxpayers do. Your family name ain't the best in the Navy. Oh. I gotta give you your dream shot. I'm gonna send you up against the best. You two characters are going to Top Gun. For five weeks, you're gonna fly against the best fighter pilots in the world. Maverick's happy. You screw up just this much. You'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. <laughs> yes, sir! Was this song written for this movie? I've definitely heard it so many different places over the years. Gentlemen. This actor also looks familiar. Every encounter is gonna be much more difficult. Looks like Tony Scott is setting up a rivalry between Kilmer's character and Cruz's. In case some of you wonder who the best is, they're up here on this plaque on the wall. And they have the option to come back here to be Top Gun instructors. You think your name's gonna be on that plaque? Yes, sir. That's pretty arrogant, considering the company you're in. <laughs> nice going indeed. You just made yourself a target. You wanna know who the best is? That's him, Iceman. Iceman. That's Kilmer's in-movie name. I heard that about you. You like to work alone. Excuse me, miss. Hey, hey, hey. Don't worry, I'll take care of this. Oh, it's a play. You never close your <laughs> eyes anymore when I kiss. Oh, that love and feeling you lost. Looks like it's a little overwhelming for her. I love that song. I've never seen that approach. No. Are you a, a good pilot? I can hold my own. Great. Then I won't have to worry about you making your living as a singer. <laughs> Ooh, it says the ladies' room. Your friend was magnificent. Nah. <gasps> she has a PhD in astrophysics, and she's also a civilian contractor, so you do not salute her. It is her, isn't it? Hello? Oh. We will be dealing with F5s <laughs> and A4s as our MIG simulators. We happened to see a MiG-28 do a 4G negative dive. You were in a 4G inverted dive with a MiG-28? Yes, ma'am. What were you doing there? You know, the finger. Yes, I know the finger, Goose. Why didn't you tell me that you were a famous MiG insulter? I just really like to hear about the MiGs sometime. We've got security clearance. You can read about it. Yeah. She definitely is intrigued. We're back in the air again. One wrong turn and you're dead. Even these training exercises, they're so risky and serious. Woo! Oh, missile lock. Well played. Tower, this is Ghost Rider requesting a flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is full. <laughs> Another ignored order. You're everyone's problem. That's because every time you go up in the air, you're unsafe. Iceman does have a point. Do your snot-nosed jockeys did a flyby on my tower at over 400 knots. <laughs> well, it's not like they don't deserve it, right? You took it. And broke a major rule of engagement. I mean, they do have rules for a reason, right? Top Gun rules of engagement exist for your safety and for that of your team. Exactly. They are not flexible, nor am I. Really enjoyed that, ma'am. Thanks a lot. 
Shit. He's always getting trouble because of Mavericks. Maverick. Flew with his old man. Oh. That's a revelation. So his father was a pilot. And he flew with Viper. Right now, I just hope we graduate. I got a family to think about. I can't afford to blow this. I guess that flyby wasn't such a big hit, huh? I mean, Clues does have a point. Look, man, I know it's tough for you. I wouldn't let you in the academy because you're Duke Mitchell's kid. You have to live with that reputation. But it's like every time we go up there, it's like you're flying against a ghost. And at least he has respect for his best friend, right? So there's that. Yeah, this, this film definitely helped in perpetuating the whole military strongman <laughs> image of the 80s. Ooh. I know this song. Take My Breath Away by Berlin. You always get what you want? No, not always. Yeah, there's definitely a spark there, for sure. This music, my folks loved it. She died shortly after. Ah. What happened to your father? Both of them passed away. Security clearance, you'd know more about him than I do. And he doesn't even know how his father died. My old man was a great fighter pilot. But who the hell knows, it's all classified. Somebody must know. Yes, I guess he really... I'm sure Viper does, because he did fly with his father after all. Again, well played, Maverick. Not pushing it too much, leaving her wanting a little more. You know how to play the game. Your MIG sighting is really important to my work, but um, I don't normally invite students to my house. <laughs> You're uh... That was a date. Very clearly. Not your ordinary invitation. He's going for it, isn't he? I'm glad we got that straight. Dude, it's Meg Ryan! What do you think Meg Ryan's most famous movie is? I, sh I should watch that. If you think... You're dead. Well, that's a big gamble with a $30 million plane, Lieutenant. Maverick makes an aggressive vertical move here, comes over the top, and he defeats the bandit with a missile shot. She appreciates it, but she doesn't approve of it. Lieutenant! My review of your flight performance in the task was right on in my professional opinion. I can't hear you! <laughs> Uh, that was a little rude. I see some real genius in your flying, Maverick, but I can't say that in there. And I just don't want anyone to know that I've fallen for you. Oh, there, sh there it is. It's out there. Yeah, okay. There's no turning back now. Stuff's about to get complicated. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's very stereotypical of 80s action movies to have these slow love scenes with romantic ballads in the background. I feel the need, the need for speed. That's a famous line. I didn't know it was from this particular movie, but I've definitely heard that before. Holy shit, it's Viper! Viper's up here, great! Dude, these aerial stunts are insane. If you guys want me to review the sequel on the channel, do let me know in the comments. That way I won't watch it in the theaters and wait for the digital release. Bingo, Maverick's dead. You're out of there, kid. Oh no. They got outplayed. It's not your flying. It's your attitude. The enemy's dangerous. But right now, you're worse than the enemy. It's all true. It'll never happen again. I know. I mean, this part must hurt the most. Letting down your best friend. September 65. It was the last time he probably saw his father. You take my nerves and you rattle my brain? I'm really enjoying the soundtrack of this movie. It's banger after banger. He told me all about the time you went ballistic with Penny Benjamin. Did he? <laughs> well, that's great. Looks like Goose shares everything with his wife. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire! I would love to be able to warn you off about Maverick, but I just love him to death. You take me to bed or lose me forever. Show me the way home, buddy. Again, I'm really enjoying the spectacle of the movie, but when it comes to plot, I think it is a little thin. I mean, 
what are the stakes except ruining 30 million dollar planes <laughs> Oh, the aerial cinematography, man. Some of the best ever. Especially how stylized it is. Come on, Ice, get the hell out of there. Ten more seconds, then I've got him. Yeah, I think a lot of this aerial stuff is being done on the ground with a telescopic lens. Shit, we got a flame out, man. Engine one is out. Engine two is out. Goose, I'm losing control. Both their engines are screwed. Oh, okay. I thought Goose didn't make it for a second. Dude! It looks like Goose didn't make it after all. Oh no. Finally, we have some real stakes. Maverick is a little too overconfident and he needs to rein that ego in and follow the rules, at least somewhat. Just when I started to like Goose and his entire family, they showed his wife, his kid, and just after that scene, they take him away. What an emotional gut punch. Ghost is dead. I know. It's confirmed. He's dead. I'll be here if you need me, okay? Yeah, he needs some space. Ah. I kind of like the way the filmmakers killed off Goose's character. There was no big scene where he was almost dying and had last words or anything. It was pretty realistic of how People die in military situations. One minute you're alive, the next second you're just gone. God, he loves flying with you, Maverick. Unrecoverable. Ah. There was no way Lieutenant Mitchell could either see or avoid the jet wash which produced the... He's not being blamed for the accident. Lieutenant Mitchell is restored to flight status without further delay. Yeah, even if he's restored, I don't think he's in the right state of mind. Take the shot, kid. Take the shot. <laughs> Time, Maverick. Uh, he's not taking any risks anymore. Okay. Hey, we could have had him, man. I'm a fire when I am goddamn good and ready. I'm sorry about Goose. Everybody liked him. I'm sorry. That was the right thing to do. If he added anything more, Maverick might have taken it the wrong way. Yeah, Maverick just quit. <gasps> Maverick just quit? You weren't gonna say goodbye? I heard you got that uh, job in Washington. Ah. Congratulations. Well, that means she's also leaving. What you do up there, it's dangerous. That's true. But you've got to go on. Ah, it's Viper's place. I hope he's here for advice. I flew with the old man. Oh. <gasps> 51, they risk any. Oh. He's actually talking about his father. His F4 was hit. He was wounded, but he could have made it back. He stayed in it. Saved three planes before he bought it. How come I never heard that before? It's classified. So you were there? I was there. So you think I should quit? I didn't say that. That's something you must decide on your own. It's your option, Lieutenant. All yours. I like, I like, I really like his character. That scene was so important to the movie. He learned that his father was ultimately a hero. And he learned from his superior that it's not his fault. And he learned that... A good pilot should evaluate what happened and learn from it. Probably the most important scene in the entire film. Good for you, Mav. He chose to graduate, but looks like Iceman won. Congratulations. Thank you. Maverick, you'll get your rear when you get to your ship. And if you don't, give me a call. I'll fly with you. Looks like they're getting immediately assigned. 24 hours later, the Indian Ocean. Finally, we have some real stakes. A mix in the area and tensions are high. If you witness a hostile act, you will return fire. But with regard to Maverick, is he the best I know it's on your mind because Zansky just get on it. I kind of agree with Iceman here. What's very interesting about this film is none of them, none of these guys are the stereotypical bad guy, if you know what I mean. I think the worst enemy is himself here. I think they mention it several times during the movie. At the end of the day, they're all on the same team. Wood, we've got four bogeys. It's actually four bogeys? Wrong. Five. There's five, sir. That's five. Yes, sir. Wake up! Ooh. 
Hollywood's down. We got four on our tail. That makes six of them. Six men. Right, right. Shit, that was close. God damn it. Maverick's just engaging. I knew it. Shit. God damn it, Maverick. Dude, no. Maverick. Maverick. It's do or die, man. Go for it. Maverick's re-engaging, sir. I got control. Oh, that's one down. I got him, Matt. One big pass in between us. Ooh, that was so close. Yeah, the aerial stunts in this movie are crazy. They are some of the best I've seen. Oh, these missile launches. Oh, and the explosion. Oh. Strike four. Remaining MiGs are bugging out. Oh man, okay. The remaining MiGs, they're escaping. And we hear the Top Gun theme song. Mustang, this is Maverick requesting flyby. Negative Ghost Rider, the pattern is bad. <laughs> 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 he still went for the flyby. You guys, help! You, you! You are still dangerous. <laughs> And now he knows how to work as a team. You can be my wingman anytime. You can be mine. Yeah. And there's mutual respect. Ah, he's finally letting go. But not in a bad way. I thought of being an instructor, sir. Oh. Top Gun. Good for you, Maverick. Is it the song he sang at the beginning of the movie? Because it sounds familiar. Which only means one thing. It is her. He's back. Baby. That was a really fun movie, guys. And I can't wait for um, the sequel. Thank you, guys, <laughs> for voting for this movie. Okay, I took a little time to collect my thoughts. First off, that was so much fun. While I don't think this was a Best Picture winning Oscar movie by any means, I had a great time with it. Tony Scott was a fantastic filmmaker, and his direction here was solid. Apart from... That, I'd consider the other strengths of the movie to be its insane aerial stunts, the production design, the unexpected humor, some of the performances, uh, Maverick's character development, and the score and soundtrack. Whereas the main weakness I found was mainly in the first half of the movie, or the first act, which, which was entertaining, don't get me wrong, there was unexpected humor, but I think it was a little thin on plot nothing of real substance happens in the first act or even till the midpoint uh, of the film i wish the directors did more with the first 45 or 50 minutes if that makes any sense anyways let's start with the directing by tony scott and the script by jim cash and jack f jr like i just said the first act of the film was very entertaining uh, very visually pleasing uh, especially the opening sequence but not much happens in terms of plot, except we get introduced to Maverick and Goose. Tony Scott also sets up potential rivalries between Maverick and Kilmer's Iceman and also I think with Viper, one of the instructors. I think the rivalry could have been explored a little better, but I get it because at the end of the day, they were all on the same side. The film really takes off after Maverick and Goose start their training at Top Gun, I have to admit Cruz had excellent on-screen on chemistry with almost everyone on set, but mostly with uh, Kelly McGillis's Charlie. I think their chemistry carried the first half of the film for me, um, along with the humor. We'll talk about the excellent aerial scene soon, but I have to uh, mention a very important aspect of the movie, which is the fact that even though several potential rivals or obstacles were set up at the beginning, there was no outright villain in the entire movie. I like that. It was almost completely about Maverick, and I'm glad that his character development was well written. Initially shown to be exactly what his name is, Maverick, a loose cannon with an ego with a, but, but a ton of talent he slowly learns the value of teamwork and that he needs to work together with his fellow pilots to succeed. And that's something, you know, you can't achieve alone. That's a good lesson. His superior, superiors like uh, Viper, 
uh, they clearly think he's talented but reckless. I loved how the real lessons here truly changed his character over the course of the runtime. All four supporting characters in the movie were very good. Uh, Kelly McGillis was, as I mentioned earlier, stellar opposite to Cruz. Anthony Edwards as Goose was also the perfect co-pilot and I love the filmmakers gave him a family. Uh, they had an entire scene with Meg Ryan and the baby and singing and stuff because it added a ton of weight to his character when he passes away. Um, I really cared for him. Val Kilmer also had a smaller role in the movie than I expected because whenever Top Gun was brought up, it's almost like Cruz and Kilmer, Cruz and Kilmer, but Kilmer had a small role. I thought he'd be more of a rival to Maverick's character, but I do appreciate the fact that he was on the same side. He gave solid advice to him, telling him multiple times that he has to learn to work as a team to succeed. And um, he gave him the proper respect at the end of the film, which he deserved. And I also like the fact that Maverick also gave respect to Iceman. Uh, Tom Skerritt was also excellent in his role as Piper, the veteran instructor who served as a mentor, almost like a surrogate father to Maverick. I think without his motivational speech in that scene at his house, Maverick would have just quit. Um, finally, Tom Cruise as Maverick was just he was great, wasn't he? Um, he was the real breakout star of the film, and I don't think there's too much to argue there. I know he's quite a controversial character in real life, but I try to separate the art from the artist. His character development is what made the film very good, and I think his character changed for the better by the end. It really makes me excited to see him as an instructor at Top Gun in the upcoming sequel. Let's talk about the aerial scenes, which were the real highlight of the film for me. I think these, I think if these aerial scenes were not well done, uh, this film would have been a major flop. Um, Tony Scott and the entire production team did an amazing job in filming these powerful machines flying at terrifying speeds. I think. A lot of these scenes were shot from the ground uh, with a telephoto lens. Uh, other times, I think actual cameras were mounted on the aircrafts themselves, which is crazy because small action cameras like GoPros didn't exist back then. Um, I also have to say that using they were, that they were using real planes, and there was very minimal trickery of the camera used here, which made everything look as real as possible. That really showed, and I honestly appreciate it. Doing it practically is, and for the foreseeable future, it will be better than taking the CGI route. I have to admit that a lot of technical talk about the planes did go over my head. <laughs> no pun intended. Uh, but that didn't take away from my enjoyment of these scenes. Uh, the second best thing of the entire film had to be the score and soundtrack. Both were iconic crazy good and the funniest thing is that i've heard the main theme and the two main songs take my breath away and danger zone even though i've never seen this film before that goes to show that these songs have become a part of modern mainstream culture even the sound design was excellent and i suspect that's because they didn't have to fake it too much they were actually working with real jets so there's that excellent work from not only the sound department but from the stunt team and the production end too, because those explosions were fantastic. Uh, as I've talked about my criticisms of the first act already, overall, Top Gun was such a good time. Although I, I thought the first act of the film was a little light on plot, the rest of the movie was a real spectacle, a roller coaster ride. The strong performances by uh, Tom Cruise, Kelly McGillis, Val Kilmer, and Tom Skerritt were backed up by solid direction from um, Tony Scott and the amazing aerial stunts by the production team. This was a story of overcoming adversity within yourself. There were no clear-cut bad guys to be found here. And I like the fact that the directors handled these characters with respect and made them, made them somewhat realistic. 
Um, oh, and the soundtrack was just excellent. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to the sequel. Do let me know if, if I should review the sequel on the channel or should I watch it in the theaters? Because if I'm supposed to review it for uh, the channel, then I have to wait for the digital release. <sighs> Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for 200 wonderful reviews. Here's to 200 more. Please consider being a patron. Please subscribe to the channel. Click that bell icon for instant notifications. Do check out my other videos. Like if you like this video. Feel free to dislike it if you didn't. I will see you in the next one. Bye.